Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we've got the winners for a couple different giveaways. First, we have the winners of the Eddie Nall giveaway. I'm going to be putting those up on screen right now. In addition, we have the winners for the 200 cudgel giveaway. I'll be putting a link to that in the pinned comment and description so you guys can access that Google document to see if you guys have won. Congratulations to all the winners, and thank you all very, very much for participating. So next, we're going to be talking about the Reviver drone in this build. I had a challenge. I wanted to make the Reviver drone actually usable in Champion League. This is a new drone that came out a few updates back, but never really got adopted by the meta, partly because the chip slots on there aren't the greatest. This is mainly a defense and a healing drone. But if you want a drone like that, you're, there's a lot better options out there. You're more than likely going to want to be using the Nebula or the Whiteout drone. Two things this drone has that those others I just talked about don't is this A-type slot where you can put a weapon on there. And that's really not all that impressive. Um, the Whiteout drone has a diamond slot, which this does, but the Nebula does not. So we're going to put on mild damage fix there. Take 70,000 damage, you heal up 18%. We also have on repair unit defense and a nice suppressor chip, which is always good. Now we're going to take a look at the main ability of this bad boy. When the robot's durability reaches zero, the drone instantly restores part of it 50%. That's actually huge. I think when this came out, um, it definitely was not that big because I remember testing it and it was like a small, small, tiny amount of healing. Um, so we're going to be pairing this with the Mender robot and more specifically the Marie Leclerc pilot because Marie Leclerc repairs gray damage. This is great because now we can get multiple activations of that Reviver main ability. This is going to be key in what we're working towards and working for. Here are our skills. True Ace, Armor Expert, Foolhardy, Roadhog, Dodger, Death Survivor, and Adamant Roadhog. That's what we're going to be using. Now, we only have one square slot on this, so we're going to be needing a little bit more resistance. And I'm going to get that from two different places. Mainly here in our passive modules, we're going to be using nuclear amplifier and two times repair amp. We're going to get the defense points from that repair amplifier, and that's going to help us out in our deficit for our drone and on top of that we're going to be using the new north light mothership now this thing is going to bring it to the next level okay guys the north light mothership is a very very good mothership you heal 250,000 damage anything above that of your maximum hp gets turned into an aegis shield you get an additional 100 defense points for eight seconds after you activate this mothership and on top of this not only do we have the shielding, the healing. We also have another active slot on there, an attack slot to put our gravity amplifier. This is the first drone with attack and defense capabilities. This is awesome. This is literally the best and my most favorite, favorite, favorite mothership in the game right now. Without further ado, let's get right to this gameplay so you can see how this bad mamma jamma competes against the meta. All right, guys, so if you are new to the channel or returning, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell, and select all so you guys never miss a thing. Also, drop a comment. It definitely helps a small channel like mine gain traction to reach people who have yet to find the channel. We actually had a ton of views last month, and the majority of them came from people who were not subscribed to the channel. So clicking that little subscribe, that like, and a comment helps out a ton to increase our reach to those audiences. So this is the first match that I have my Tony name on in a long, long time. I used to wear it all the time, then I've, I've been switching it up. i just testing out to see the differences. This game and the game I played after this were absolutely bonkers. So you guys are in for a treat and a very exciting game. We're over here battling it out at Center Beacon. We got a nice 1v1 engagement, Cudgel Kepri versus Sonic Kepri. But I'm getting bendied up from the distance. And it seems like that guy is getting shot from a harpy with blast weapons from the sky as well. Um, I'm going to try moving on up a little bit here. Oh, this guy's coming back to center beacon. We need to stay there and guard. You saw me trying to make a move to his side beacon there. So he made a defense. Very nice move there. Very, uh, very alert. Very conscious of what's happening. 
I know he's trying to creep on down and then pop on up when people least expect it. You need to know what players are doing on the battlefield. You need to anticipate their motions. A lot of people move in a predictable manner. Um, and if they're not guarding center, if they're not posted up camping, most likely they're going to be pushing your home beacons. This guy was a different case. He was a, the kind that likes to, to pop out and try to hit you when you're least expecting it. We ended up getting the double kill there. Very nice. We are taking on a whole bunch of damage right now. I doubt we're able to survive this. And we get taken down. But it is all good. Let's drop in our second robot here. We're going to drop in with the Mender. The man of the hour. The lady of the hour. Let's see how much damage we could do. Let's see how long we could last with this one little robot. Trying to push on up to their left beacon there. We are taking on a ton of damage right now. Look at this, guys. We got dropped down to a quarter HP instantly. This doesn't look well for our little mender. This does not look good at all. But you know what? We've got the ability to heal our great damage. So we're going to play smart. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Heal back that great damage and continue on the fight. This little robot can do amazing things if you play it safe and you play it properly. You can't just run in there all gung-ho. You're going to get taken down quick, fast, and in a hurry, as you just saw right there. You want to limit it to engaging, you know, one person at a time, unless you have a friend or two on that beacon. Then you want to get in there and keep them healed up and heal up their gray bar. That's when you're going to be the best asset while playing this robot. I was actually hoping that some of my teammates were going to push up with me. It doesn't seem like that's the case, but that's only because uh, my team is getting pressure on their left flank beacon down there, and they're trying to defend it. So that's the only reason I'm not getting any help right now. I like to always pay attention and see what's going on instead of quickly judging and saying, oh, these randoms are no good in this match. These randoms are actually really good, and they're playing very, very well. So my hat's off. Shout out to these randoms because these randoms are very, very good this match. Trying to get up and take this dude down. He does have that gravity amplifier effect on. As you can see, he's got that purple ring around his feet. We're blasting away at him, blasting away. Now we're going to back on up. Oh, man, this shell threw us up against this wall. Luckily, it, we weren't at a different angle where we got thrown into the water. you got to be very, very careful on that platform when there's shells. You can get blasted into water very, very easily. And as you guys can see, our HP bar was down past a quarter HP. Now we're all the way up 75% or more of our HP. So we definitely healed a great, great, great amount of it back. Once you get the repair amplifiers and the nuclear amplifier charged up on this thing, this this setup is extremely, extremely lethal. Now, with the addition of the Northlight Mothership getting that additional defense points, it even makes it even tankier. Normally, I would run this setup with the Nebula or the Whiteout or something like that. I'm just trying to figure out a setup to make this Reviver drone work. It's a shame we got such a cool, amazing drone and nobody even uses it. So I'm trying to make it cool, I'm trying to, to find a use, and I'm trying to use it to its most effective potential out here. I hate to see new things added to the game, and they're not really utilized in the meta. It's kind of like a waste in my mind. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I would love for everything added to the game uh, to be viable and to be like, you know, part of, part of the new meta and stuff like that, but that's not always the case. Oh, look at this. We gravity amped all those dudes. That was great, man. We locked all of them down. They really can't move or do anything. That was a super effective gravity amp. And we had that extra defense points there. We are super, super tanky. Oh, did you see that? We did get the heal there, but our gray bar was really big. So in order to get the most out of that reviver drone, you want to have like a big HP bar that's still healable. It only repairs the healable part. I think if Pixonic changes that to healing the gray part, 50% of the gray part, now I think we'll be cooking with the grease and we'll see a lot more of these on the battlefield. Pixonic, if you're listening, give that baby a buff. And you see right there, we got our Sharangatan with the new Gargantuas taken out instantly. And I'm coming back. That guy had me focused dead to rights and we finished him off. We actually almost killed him with the Gargantuas. I should have pressed my uh, damage boost ability. We would have been able to kill him off in the sky. We got to take out this Puncher Behemoth. This is a huge threat in the battlefield. That's one of the most deadliest setups in the game. I run it myself, so I know how deadly it is. So I'm going to make it to point to take that sucker out because it could do mass amounts of damage in a short period of time. 
All right, shooting our Kujalinis into center. We do have three beacons at the current moment, but our that could change at any time. These beacon bars are extremely, extremely close. I need to try to get out of the way and hit my heal as soon as this EMP wears off because we're going to get lit up by that mirror mess. Pressing my ability, pressing the heal, getting myself down to safety. Now I'm going to move up and try to take off these titans. These mirror mets are the biggest threat in the battlefield currently, so I need to focus all of my attention on them until they're gone. Going right past that dude, right for the mirror mets. Lighting them up with those Kujalinis. Bob Ross's paintbrushes are doing some work out here on the mirror mets. <laughs> Focusing down this mirror mets. I don't care about any other robot around me. It's all about this mirror mets. Hitting them with those dead killer shots. Can we take them down? Boom! Titan Slayer, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Dropping the airstrike on him. Getting that gravity amp on his feet. We got the additional defense points rocking right now. Blasting those shotguns. Close, close range. Got a Demeter teleporting in. Putting some heals on him. I'm going to focus. Try to take this Demeter out. He goes into phase shift. Very smart. Um, if he was smarter, he would have been running advanced heal in the defensive drone, but he did not. We go on the Rampage right there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Now we got a Heimdalliosis up in our face. Let's see if we can focus him down. These things definitely felt um, a lot tougher than they have in the past. Heimdall is quickly becoming a more relevant Titan with every subsequent update. Who knows? It may be the, the Meta Titan soon. Who knows? Only time will tell. We're going to be pushing up the center beacon right here. It is neutral. It is white. So we're going to try to turn it blue. Because the beacon bar is starting to slide away. But we get... Oh, man. Almost capturing center. Almost. We've got this spider over here. Let's see if we can blast away at him with, with these shotguns. And take him out quickly. It looks like he's going to want to jump to our left flank. Let's keep an eye on him and see what he's going to do here. Get that purple shield, saving him one more time. Let's see if we can blast him away and take him. Oh, man, we were about to finish him off with that last magazine, but he ends up jumping to our home beacon. Let's see if we can help our teammates over there and take him out. Nice, he's out of there. Oh, man, this guy is taking our beacon. Let's see if we can block him, teleporting in for the save. We are suppressed a little bit. Okay, now it went away. Doing a little dance, doing a little shimmy, getting up in his face, trying to take him out, and boom, we get the kill. That's what I'm talking about. What an intense tent battle guys very very fun match i'm gonna go up on the stairs and head to center beacon right now this is where the fight's gonna be we've got the map back under control we had some of them pushing our home i was pushing their flank home uh but now it's a more manageable fight the fight's always at center now which is a lot more manageable and a lot more easy um you can't always defend on your randoms to uh be able to defend and make good choices when people are pushing beacons all over the place oh my gosh it looked like a purple lightning strike was came down on us or something there's so many different flashes and effects and stuff going on the screen sometimes it's so hard to see what's going on at times all right they've got a little shell action and arthur up there boom taking that shell out quick fast and in a hurry that arthur hit us with its blast already so we're going to teleport up since it's safe if he had his blast now he could have shot us into the water I'm going to blast into that shield so that shield and his HP take all that damage. One more magazine should do it. Let's see if we can light him up now. Boom! Titan Slayer, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Putting the airstrike on that guy. Getting ourselves a healed in the shield. Let's see if we can take this dude out. Tight, tight game. Down to the where. We have four beacons to their one right now. And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and see what we're working with. Ooh, 11.1 million damage, 12 kills, 4 beacons, GG. Shout out to everybody on the blue and the red team. And shout out to L Hulk on the red team. GG's brother. Appreciate you all so much. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.